Getting the Templar Archives up. Uh, he's managed to trap those four vultures down in the uh, middle middle left hand side of the map. And looks like he's taking the island expansion as well. Looks like uh, anytime he's taking the island expansion at the 9 o'clock position. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, I thought I saw him dropping something there, but I wasn't sure. But he, So he looks like he's taking the island expansion at the 9 o'clock posi uh, position. Uh, so he's got a decent sized force on the ground. He hasn't done too much damage to Mine's economy. Mine seems to be content to just continue to progress his economy through. But he really needs to have a little bit more of a ground force. Um, he's now building a star. Uh, but I, I feel that Anytime is probably a little bit in a stronger position in this game and looks like Anytime ready to take another expansion at the 6 o'clock position. So Anytime uh, taking over the island expansions and, and the facility of the Protoss player to uh, have that shuttle as their build order as a natural progression in their strategy versus Terran is something that really, really helps them on maps where there are island expansions like this. So that is something that uh, does affect the balance of the map and something to consider. Uh, anytime he's got that expansion at the 9 o'clock position up and running, Mine just trying to harass with those vultures, trying to keep his opponent busy while he... Uh, I, I don't think uh, Anytime realizes just how meager Mine's defenses are. Mine really doesn't have a lot and if Anytime had uh, maybe even a full group of speed upgraded zealots and he rushed in there with everything he had, I think he might be able to break Mine's defenses. Uh, Mine now starting to macro up, uh, has got about four or five factories down, pumping those siege tanks out, but he doesn't have a lot of vultures to back them up, and I think he, he's relying on the fact that he knows Anytime doesn't have a lot of zealots. So Anytime has got those zealots down, looks like he's got weapons upgrade one uh, on those zealots. Um, he's got uh, he's got his meanwhile he's got his stargate down as well, uh, and I'm sure that'll be for producing arbiters. Uh, meanwhile, mine, uh, Anytime scouting around with the shuttle. Um, those spider mines well planted. Um, he's got a decent he, mine is starting to push out now. The, the, the thing that works in favor of mine is that he doesn't have to go cross map, but there is a lot of room uh, for flanking sci science facility going up just now. So science facility should be popping out for mine soon. Um, he's got his armories up. He's building a second armory, obviously for research purposes. Anytime looks like he's going to try and make another raid into his opponent's base with those two shuttles. Um, there are spider mines planted around the map, so he might get caught in them if he's not careful. Uh, this could be absolutely horrible for any time. One of the for, he drops the zealots in first, so they're going to absorb the of spider mines. Reavers in now. He's not going to do too much damage. Unfortunately, mine responding well, pulling his SCVs out just in time. He manages to take the siege tank out. He loses about six SCVs there. The SCVs hammering around, hammering at the. Reaver and the Reaver managed to get a shot off just before it got taken out uh, and managed to kill off the SCVs. Uh, and and any time hasn't done a lot of damage with that drop, but he will have slowed his opponent down and would, would have been a niggly little attack on his opponent, pushing over the Dragoons. Uh, but he doesn't have an Observer there, so now he brings the Observer. Uh, Dragoons pushing a little bit ahead of the Observer, uh, taking a hit from one of the Spider Mines, but not too much damage. So anytime just trying to set up a flanking position, making sure that he doesn't allow Mine to just set up a United Front and push out against him. Uh, and he wants to keep Mine pinned back in his corner of the main. Right now, anytime is retaining most of the map control with the superior grind forces. Meanwhile, um, looks like he's got a dropship out first. So dropship with full rushes dropping in the 6 o'clock position. Uh, so Anytime is probably going to lose that base now uh, because he's used up his own forces. Um, anytime he's to counter with his arbiters and dragoons uh, and Ma Mind is in huge trouble here because he doesn't have a lot of vultures standing in front of those siege tanks initially. He's pulled his vultures back. He's got a Goliath there trying to take out the observers. Uh, anytime insisting on pushing ahead. He needs a few more zealots. Zealots coming in from the side uh, and if he can get those zealots in range, Anytime has a good chance of breaking the defense here but the zealots aren't in position. They're behind the dragoons. Anytime continuing to push ahead with the Dragoons. Now the Zealots powering in. The Zealots are coming into play. There are no Vultures to defend those Siege Tanks. So this defense is going to be broken. Mine's defense broken. More Zealots streaming in from any time. Lots of Spider Mines planted as a last desperate attempt by Mine. And those Spider Mines taking out about six Zealots altogether. Finally breaking Mine's uh, Anytime's push. But that was a great attack by Anytime. Those Zealot reinforcements arriving just in the nick of time. And now he's heading in for the expansion of the 3 o'clock position. I thought it was an island expansion. Clear it is. And sorry guys, I'm not as familiar with this map as I thought it was. Uh, but the expansion at the uh, 3 o'clock position is clearly not an island expansion. So having killed off those defensive forces outside of Mine's base, uh, Anytime has now barreled in with his Dragoons and is taking out the 3 o'clock expansion. And he's killed a lot of the SCVs that were there. Meanwhile, he's trying to set up another expansion down at the 7 o'clock position. He's lost the expansion at the 6 o'clock position. He's starting up another Nexus at the 5 o'clock position. Anytime firmly in control of this game, has control of the map, uh, and really has been in control from the get-go, despite Mine getting that early expansion off. I guess that Reaver drop uh, with the dual Reaver that uh, Anytime had in Mine's base early on did more damage than I thought. I thought he took out about 6 to 8 SCVs. I didn't think it was a whole lot, but it looks like he did enough damage to slow his opponent down and macro up. Uh, and Mine really just seems to have not been in this game at all. He had his 
defenses up there. He didn't have his vultures in front of his tanks in time. He didn't have the spider mines in time. Uh, and the push with the arbiter coming just at the right time from any time. Uh, any time has now got a decent expansion at the seven block position. He's got a couple of photon cannons there to defend it. So raiding vultures won't be enough to take it out. Another photon cannon going up at the five o'clock position for any time. <coughs> and any time firmly in control of this game. He's got a massive economy. He's got more units on the ground. Um, he's got a strong tech. Uh, mind trying to float that command center back over to the three o'clock position. Uh, once any time's forces have moved out, uh, but he's got a zealot waiting there to spot that. Uh, so any time with map control of this map, and this is looking very bad for mine. He's still just barely in this game, uh, and if it wasn't for the expansions within his base, he wouldn't be in this game at all. So uh, any time trying to move out, uh, taking a couple hits from the spider mines. That's a little bit careless of any time. He's lost a, couple, a dragoon and taken damage to his forces from those spider mines. Uh, he really should have had an observer there. Uh, so, uh, meanwhile, mine has gotten a group of vultures down at the five, into the five o'clock expansion of any times. Any times going to have to send some forces down to take care of this. Uh, looks like he's concentrating most of his forces at the three o'clock expansion. I don't know why he's doing that. I just want to push that command center out and not let. He's really trying to starve mine of resources. But I think he's got more than enough army there to more than enough forces there to take back that expansion to the five o'clock position. Uh, and it looks like the vultures have pulled back. I can't actually just from telling the minimap. It looks like mine has pulled those vultures back. Uh, Any time concentrating trying to concentrate on keeping control of the middle of the map. Mine really just fighting guerrilla warfare here, dropping spider mines all over the map to try and slow his opponent down. Uh, anytime is taking some hits from those spider mines. Um, he really needs to have a few more observers around with his main forces. Um, mind and any anytime losing another group of zealots. Great play by Mind. Had those vultures hidden there waiting for the probes to pop out and he catches those probes in transit uh, to that base at the five o'clock position at the seven o'clock position. Mine meanwhile is making a push but anytime uh, it, uh, Stasis field goes off onto those siege tanks just on the above the ramp uh, at the choke above the choke. Uh, anytime, still trying to push in another stasis field with the two uh, arbiters from Anytime, but unfortunately still not able to break his opponent's defense. And I'm afraid he's going to have to play a starving game. He's going to have to keep map control and concentrate on starving his game. Uh, and that that really is something that helps Terran players players a lot. That choke at the that choke at the uh, just outside the outside of the main not only does it allow them to shell both the opponent's natural expo and main simultaneously but it's a great defensive point you can position siege tanks above it uh, as well as defend the valley itself uh, and it makes it incredibly difficult for anyone to siege up there as uh, any time discovered mind now with a massive group of vultures raiding on the center of the map trying to catch any times dragoons off guard he's actually caught those dragoons and he's going to take out this small dragoon force of any time here the splinter group of dragoons despite the uh, arbiter support them so mind is an uh, anytime is forced you're going to lose that group, group, group of dragoons that group of commando vultures has been doing significant damage and harassment to any time um, but I still feel it's not really enough. I still feel Anytime has the comfortable lead in this game right now. Uh, mine has has kept those vultures there for for uh, some time now, just using the spider mines to take out Anytime's forces and and keeping those vultures hidden. But uh, Anytime is finally going to deal with this, and, and I feel that's what Anytime should concentrate on rather than trying to break the defenses of his opponent. I think he should just starve. I think this is one of those games where he should just out expand and starve, maybe get a few carriers going. And now finally, it looks like Mine has taken down that expansion at the five o'clock position. He's putting down his own command. And I thought anytime had control of that. It looks like mine has managed to amass a decent sized force anytime with those two attempts to break. Has lost a lot of troops in the process, and that's given mine a chance to come back into this game. So it looks like mine has taken control of the right side of this map, uh, trying to even the game out. Anytime still had that significant tech advantage. He's, he's got those arbiters built up. He did unfortunately use off his stasis field. The only problem with that stasis field was he didn't catch a lot of enemy units in those stasis fields. He only caught four tanks with two stasis fields. So that's quite a lot of waste of arbiter energy, personally, I feel. Uh, so mine has now got a decent sized force on the ground of vultures and siege tanks. Uh, Any time still I feel with the slight superiority in this game though he has lost a couple of expansions mine has got that expansion at the three o'clock position up and running and I think he's also got one at the five o'clock position that he was building um, anytime continuing to pump arbiters from two stargates um, that, star that arbiter is, uh, is slightly damaged and he's trying to go for a recall here uh, but he spots the turrets in time and pulls it back decent micro by any time uh, mine uh, I really feel that anytime should concentrate on, on taking out mines forces around the map and not really allowing mine to expand further and I think my anytime has surrendered some of the impetus that he had to mine by not doing that because he's allowed mine to come out and put expansions down uh, around the map anytime just wandering around with the arbiters at will which just goes to show how little control anytime with a recall right on top of those siege tanks group of about five siege tanks off uh, mine and a brilliant stasis field goes off but unfortunately the stasis field came one second too late those dragoons died just before the stasis field could hit uh, anytime trying to follow up with a group of and if he can if he can get that if he can get that high templar there in time to get the storm off that will do him no wonders but he's actually going to take the opportunity that he's used to block off his opponent's forces uh, to actually go and take out that expansion down at the 
5 o'clock position. Uh, meanwhile, Mines countering with Vultures. This is an absolutely great game of StarCraft. This map is producing some stunning StarCraft play. Massive battles all over the map. Both players try to look for points of weakness and exploit them and attack all over the map uh, anytime, but they seem to be fairly even now in terms of expansions. Mine has certainly pulled this game back. Uh, anytime now has gotten past those spider mines, um, Mine has floated the command center up and moved it away, so he's, he's not going to lose that expansion, and he's hidden his SCVs at the bottom left corner of that base, uh, which is actually at the seven uh, at the five o'clock position. So uh, any any time actually great play by Mind. He anticipated that and got his forces out in time. Mind didn't see that, so those SCVs are going to survive. That would have been a significant hit if any time had been able to take them out. Uh, a large group of vultures now going raiding at Mind's seven o'clock base. If Mind can trap them and take those vultures out, that'll certainly do him uh, a world of good. Looks like uh, Mind has decided to actually float. And, and any time Mind going in now with the vultures, trying to take that photon can down that's protecting those probes. And any time he's going to lose a large bunch of probes here. Anytime is bringing reinforcements in, but he's going to lose a lot of a lot of probes here. There's about 20 probes there, and those vultures are just killing it. Will great stasis again by mind, keeping mo mo by any time keeping most of mind's forces occupied. 